What up, YouTube? It's Caliber72. Doing a video response to Scorpion Show and BT Awards nominees and things. All right, performances. We got Maxwell, Neo, and Beyonce. That's what we got so far. You know, BT keeping raps on. You know, they had a little surprises, so on and so forth. Maxwell was surprised last year. That was a cool surprise. So I'm hoping they do something on that line again. You know, bring somebody out that nobody's expecting. Like, I would say a Jodeci reunion, but them dudes so doped out, I don't even want to see a damn Jodeci reunion. I just saw KC today on TV One on uh, Bill Bellamy, Who Got Jokes, him and JoJo. I guess KC got a solo joint, but drugs are bad. And cocaine's a hell of a drug. But I'm hoping they bring somebody that's worth seeing. You know, I don't know. In Vogue. All right, let's get to these nominees, whatever. Best male R&B. The Dream, Jamie Foxx, Ryan Leslie, Neo, T-Pain. This is pretty easy. Neo should win because he has the better product. And he's outsold pretty much everybody else on this list combined. You know, Jamie Foxx is probably number two for sales and product. Ryan Leslie, I have no idea who he is. He might have some banging product, but I don't know who he is, so. I'm sorry about you, homie. Best female artist, you got Beyonce, Keisha Cole, Carrie Hilson, Jennifer Hudson, Jasmine Sullivan. This is a tough category. Because with BT, as you know, they don't really go on who has the better, the better artistic quality. They go on who's the most popular. Popularity-wise, Beyonce is probably going to get it even though she may not deserve it. Who deserves it, though? I would probably say Jennifer Hudson. Honestly, Jasmine Sullivan, she's only like maybe two hits deep with Lion Tigers and Bears and the other reggae joint she did with Missy. Go. So, but honestly, Jennifer Hudson should get it. She's got the better product than everybody. Um, best group? This category is a joke. Day 26, that album just came out. GS Boys, Stanky Leg Boys, uh, NERD, I didn't even know they had nothing out. The Roots, they had the last album out, it was pretty good. 3-6 Mafia, I didn't know they had anything out. Um, I would probably say Day 26. Going on popularity again, even though that album just came out like what, last month? So they shouldn't even be nominated, really? No. But if they don't win, the GS boys gonna win just because that stinky leg crap. Don't blame me, blame BT. That's how they set this shit up. That's what it is. Um, best collaboration. You got Jamie Foxx and T Pain for Blame It, Carrie Hilson and Lil Wayne for um, Turning Me On, Jim Jones and Ron Browse. Ron Browse gotta be the luckiest summer bitch in America. Uh, T.I. and Rihanna, Live Your Life, you know, and. Young La, Dro, and T.I., um, ain't I? I honestly would give this to... I would give it to T.I. and Rihanna. Only because T.I.'s song was saying something in it. T.I.'s album was pretty damn dope this year. Pretty much the best album he's put out so far. Because he put a lot of thought into it. He, he got slick with the pen. He put something... That paper trail... Is an album that's going to be around for a while. I would give it to T.I. and Rihanna just because of the quality of the song that they put out versus everybody else. Honestly, Jamie Foxx and T-Pain is going to take it for that blame on the alcohol because people just lost their mind with that song. Even though the song ain't all that, it's a stupid Android mindless song. But that type of shit gets popular and people like it. So I'm going to say Jamie Foxx and T-Pain is going to win, but T.I. and Rihanna should win. Um... Best Hip Hop Male, Lil Wayne, Rick Ross, T.I., Kanye, Young Jeezy, that's easy, T.I. He had the best album, he had the best songs, he got about three number one hits off this album. Swagger Like Us on his album, um, Live Your Life, and it's the other joint, I can't think of the name, uh, Whatever You Like. Man had a banging album. Kanye, he flipped his wig on his album, Jeezy, Jeezy didn't get a whole lot of press, didn't get a whole lot of play. Rick Ross, if you go on last year's Trill, Trill was all right, 
if you go on this year, his album just came out, just came out this March. So, you know, and with the whole correctional officer thing and him lying, just know whatever, I don't even think he deserves shit. You know, and I'm from Miami. You know, but this dude is an embarrassment. Lil Wayne, Carter Three, who's going to win? It's a toss up between T.I. and Wayne. I would give it to T.I. because I think he got a better product. Wayne's going to win because mindless dribble again. But T.I. should win. Female hip hop. This category is a joke. Lil Mama, M.I.A. and Trina. Lil Mama hasn't had nothing out since lip gloss. That was three years ago. Um, Trina, I'm from Miami. Again, love Trina. It's my home girl and all. 305, Dade County, represent. Her album was garbage. And it was last year. It's garbage. MIA is going to win, and she should win. She got the swagger like us she did with the boys. And she got Paper Planes that she did, her own song, which they took the sample from Paper Planes, made Swagger Like Us, and the girl just dope. She actually saying something in her music, so I would give it to M.I.A. Um, another thing I would say, best male hip-hop, K-9 should be in there. K-9's not in there, and that's some bullshit. Best new artist, how much time I got? All right. Best new artist, you got Carrie Hilson, King Cootie, Kid Cootie, rather, Ryan Leslie, M.I.A., Jasmine Southern. Now, you talk about new artists, you talk about who made the most impact. It's going to be between Jasmine Sutherland and Carrie Hilson. Carrie Hilson might get it. She might get it because of all the hype and everything with the whole Beyonce beef, so-called beef, according to her. And, you know, and the turning me on and then she had the joint with Chris Brown. Um, Jasmine Sutherland, though, that Lions, Tigers, and Bears, her album is amazing, really. So, um, it's going to be between... I can't even call that. It's going to be between Carrie Hilson and Jasmine Sullivan. Gospel. I'm not up on my gospel like I should be. My bad. But you got Regina Bell, Shirley Caesar, Mary Mary, Smokey Norfolk, Trinity 5-7. Um, honestly, I think Mary Mary is going to get that just because they working with BET. You know, BET like to keep it in the family. You know, and that's all I got to go on far as that because honestly, I didn't even know Regina Bell made a gospel album. You know, um, Shirley Caesar, she makes an album two times a year, I think. You know, she always working. She's been working for 40, 50 years. Uh, Smoking Northwood, that's my dog. But I haven't heard his latest stuff, whatever. So, yeah. Uh, video of the year. If I were a boy, single ladies, blaming on the alcohol, live your life, and heartless. Live your life should win. Because like I said before, that's a hell of a song that T.I. wrote, and the video is the shit. The video, he does something with this video and with this song that you haven't seen in a few years. The video actually fits the song, and the song fits the video. You know, he got the concept of how he started out in the game and got big, and he didn't like the way things was going, so he had to get up out of the game, but... He got a few bumps and bruises and a couple of hard knocks from the game, but he eventually got out of the game and living his life. He just never whatever. So I'd say that's that's the best video on this list. Who's gonna win? This is kind of a toss up because you got a whole lot of big wigs on here. You got Kanye, Beyonce, Jamie Foxx, and everybody. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if blaming on alcohol wins. And I also wouldn't be surprised if single ladies win. But I would give it to Live Your Life. Best Actor, Common, Y, Idris Elba, Sam Jackson, Will Smith, Jamal Woolard. Dude that played Biggie. Um, Will Smith did Seven Pounds last year. It's a good movie. It wasn't his best movie. Sam Jackson, Idris Elba, Common, Jamal Woolard. Honestly, I would give it to Jamal Woolard for playing Big. The movie sucked. Let's get that out of the way. Let's get that straight. Notorious suck because a whole lot of stuff they left out in that movie. And as a big fan, I don't think that movie did that man justice, honestly. But Jamal played the hell out of Big. You watch that movie and you sometimes thought you was looking at Big, you know. And for this man, you know what I'm saying, to come off the street, picked him out of nowhere, 
And for him to jump into his first movie and do what he did, I got to give him props. All right, I'm going to start rushing real quick. Video directors, Benny Boone, Hype Williams, Chris Robinson, blah, blah, blah. Hype Williams, hands down. Best actors? Uh, Taraji P. Henson is going to win because the Benjamin Button thing. She worked her ass off on that role. Female athletes. Uh, Serena's going to win. BTJ Award. It's either going to go to Raphael Sadiq or Seal. It should go to Seal. And that's pretty much my opinion on everything. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Holla at your boy. Deuces.